What's going on guys? Today's video, Yabo, as you can clearly see all around the box. What does Yabo mean? Yet another box opening. Just a fancy way of saying an unboxing video. So this is from Daniel in Pennsylvania. I can't figure out what this uh, label says. It looks very official. Keep sealed until product is broken. Return product immediately. Alright, so today's uh, EDC is the Divide from Outdoor Edge. Mainly because I want to keep testing this snaggle tooth. That's right. Snaggle tooth wave feature. Removable wave feature. Hmm. We're going to talk more about that in the future, but I've been testing a lot lately. So the knife itself I've already tested. I've done a video on the divide, I believe, a review years ago. But anyway, it was a good candidate for the wave feature. And I have to cut the top, but I don't want to show you his address just to keep it private. So I'm going to... Well, I can't, I can't show it, sorry. <laughs> I'm just cutting the top of the box here. Two little slits, put that off to the side. There we go. I like to keep people's information private. Not everyone's a weirdo like me and doesn't care. So, there's something in there. Right, let's read the note, okay for camera, if you want. Dear Jeff, I hope you and your family are doing well. Uh, I don't regularly watch a huge number of YouTube videos, but yours is always in the rotation. Uh, please keep doing your variety of content, but still lean towards knives, of course. Haha. <laughs> um, I don't enjoy every single topic you do, but I wouldn't expect to and think it, it keeps things interesting. I like the honesty. Not everyone likes everything I do. There's a handful of people out there. They're, they just like me. That's cool. I appreciate it. But come on, you can't love absolutely everything that I love. I love a lot of weird stuff. Too many different things, you know? But anyway, uh, I wanted to add this uh, pack of Blade HQ cards for the wife to add to your collection if she's interested. Yeah, and if she, even if she's not, I'm super interested. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy it. I also wanted to throw in this K-Bar TDI last stitch for you. I rarely use neck knives in general, and I figured you would either find a use for it or you can use it for a trade. Cheers from Dan. Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate that. Uh, I had a TDI many, many years ago. I think I did a video on it. Um in my shoes. So this is an awesome, awesome blast in the past, and this will definitely go in my neck knife collection, which everyone will see a whole collection video eventually. Uh, but yeah, it's funny because uh, looking back on that video, <laughs> before I was uh, dating, not even married, once I started dating, my wife is very much into uh, fashion stuff. Like she's not going out and spending a ton of money on fashionable things, but she, as her hobby, she likes to know about what's going on in fashion. So she keeps me on the up and up. Like right now, I'm wearing some, you know, fresh Nikes and the white part is clean. <laughs> That's because of her. Uh, if you watch my TDI video, I have it on a pair of New Balance and these things are yellow and crusty because I didn't know, I was a single dude. I was young, I mean, who cares about shoes, right? <laughs> but she comes from the city, so shoes are a thing, for sure. But it's just funny because looking back, I mean, those, those shoes are pretty gnarly looking. But yeah, in that video, I um, integrated my shoelaces through the sheath on this TDI. So I actually had the knife on my shoes. So I could just bend down and retrieve the knife. Uh, and I got the idea from watching Shawshank Redemption. You know, the, the famous scene, how often does someone actually look at a man's shoes? And I walked around with that for probably a week or two. No one ever mentioned that I had a knife in my shoe. Like clearly on top of my shoe, totally visible. No one looks. So anyway, interesting random story there. But if you've never seen that video, you can check it out. Uh, TDI is a very interesting knife as well. Super pointy tip. I mean, penetration city all day long with this, right? That's what that thing is for. Of course, it will slice, but not nearly as well as it punctures things. So uh, LDI, last ditch implement, if I remember correctly, it was many years ago. But I think that's the idea behind it. Uh, this is not, you know, I mean, I guess you could use it for utility, but we all know the purpose of it. So that is that. That is super cool. Very, very glad to see that back in the collection. So huge thank you for that. Uh, the card, ooh, I see a, a Civivi, a case anyway. I absolutely love the cards. Um, I mentioned this before. Let's see, which one is this? Semper Collectus Knifus. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. I think they had different specific ones, like different brands. I don't know. Maybe this is the first one. Maybe these are just Blade HQ, which is really cool. I know they came out with different, um, uh, specifically for different brands, like a Benchmade deck, a Spyderco deck, stuff like that, which are really fun to collect. But 
I super really appreciate that. That sounded, it came out really weird. Super appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate a great deal. That sounds more uh, like proper English. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. And then there is something in here, not for camera. So I will read that off camera. What else do we have in here? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. We're doing a trade. This is also a trade item. So not only is it a Yabo and a couple nice gifts, but I'm trading for this specific CVV. My CVV for his CVV. Um, also super interested in this particular one. I love the cutout on here. I love the uh, two-tone. Uh, as I mentioned in my, in my video, I mean, this one's super comfortable. This one's, man, really, really comfortable. I love the black and gold. Those are my high school colors, in case you ever cared. Um, it's just, it, it's really nice. I like it. First impressions are very good. Um, I just love the tapering in that hole there. So, yeah. Yeah, this is a trade. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up his stuff and get it shipped out today. Thank you so much again, Dan. Really appreciate it. Super really appreciate it, <laughs> in fact. And uh, it's just really cool. Yeah, I, I definitely, you know, enjoy the extras. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow with another one. In the meantime, let me know if you happen to have this Civivi and what you think of it. But my first impressions are very, very good. Uh, only thing, obviously, is the black eventually will wear down, but I think it's really cool. When they do two-tone, I mostly prefer like the reverse. I would prefer the flats to be black because they get touched less and then like a satin or something on the grinds, but it's still really cool, just like this as well. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.